Hey guys, welcome to the Play for Life Comics FOC show for 1029-22. Hope everybody's doing well out there. A little uh, explanation of these shows. This uh, FOC standing for Final Order Cutoff. Um, this is our last chance to adjust orders on titles. Um, we keep it kind of short and sweet. It is, we mostly focus on number ones, possible first appearances, and good looking covers. It's kind of our... Uh, what we do, and we offer 20% off on uh, ordering through these. We have an attached Google Docs, Docs sheet um, that has every book and cover that we cover in here, but also there is a blank space at the bottom um, if you want multiples or something that we're not featuring because there are dozens of other titles every week on FOC, and you can access through uh, those through Lunar Distribution if it's a DC title or uh previewsworld.com if it is a uh, anything else so without further ado we're going to jump on in reach out if you have any questions dark web number one this is the new uh spider-man title coming out two most famous clones are back to take what's theirs ben riley and madeline Pryor are reigniting inferno uh, venom's in there somewhere uh Trying, they're trying to figure out what he's got to do with all this. The X-Men, it's X-Men, Spider-Man crossover. Um, looks cool. Adam Kubert art on a lot of it. Should be a fun ride. So there's uh, there's the A cover from Kubert. David Baldion B cover with Magic right up front there. You got Magic, Forge, Cyclops, Havoc, Phoenix, uh, uh, the one guy that was on the Inhumans. I always forget his name. And Iceman stuck in there. So, Carlos Gomez C cover. Ms. Marvel in there. Uh, Bobby Hernandez Beyond ASM cover. Peach Momoko. On to Ghost Rider number nine. This is the uh, first appearance of Exhaust. This is Johnny Blaze has finally been exercised of his demonic tumor, but it lives on as something new and sentient, a dark mirror of both him and his bike. Um, so, yeah, kind of a weird man-machine crossover. Uh, definitely strange, wicked-looking character, though. Great design on him um, on this Bjorn Barons A cover. Bjorn Barons, to me, has just been doing some great work. Um, it just looks good. Peach Momoko B cover. Peach Momoko, in my opinion, has stepped it up the last few weeks. Um, I like a lot of the stuff she's doing now a lot more than I did with some of her early stuff. She had to grow on me, I guess. Uh, on to Miles Morales, Spider-Man number one. I think this is going to be huge. Um, I mean, it's a new Miles Morales. What can I say? Uh, he's got to fight through all the, the major villains of the multiverse and, you know, Good Miles Morales goodness. So get the this is a good jumping on point. Um, because they've been running the last series for about three years now, I think. So this is a good time to to step in and, and start from the beginning. Because uh he has a tendency to sell sell out off the rack. So uh Dyke Ruan uh A cover. Bengal connecting B cover with all your multiverse folks there. Um, blank sketch cover, Torin Clark cover, Oliver Coipel, uh, Mike Del Mundo graffiti variant, a little different there, uh, Peach Momoko costume variant. Um, one I've been having fun with kind of surprised me. I don't usually go for the cartoony stuff, I'm not a big Scotty Young fan or a uh, Art Balthazar or any of that stuff doesn't really do it for me. But these Chrissy Zulo covers I think are fun. This one with him as a cat. She usually does stuff as cats. I don't know. I, they, they put a smile on my face. What can I say? On the Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur relaunching this title. This is going to be a mini series, one of five. Um, Basically, yeah, it's just a new, uh, she's back with Devil Dinosaur after all that stuff where she was hunting for him, missing um, with everybody in the Marvel Universe. Uh, you got a great Ken Lashley A cover, Nick Bradshaw B cover, 
Peach Momoko, Scotty Young, of course. On to Marvel Tales Origins. Now, this one's cool. And uh, I think everybody that watches this video should try to get this book. I, I, I don't think I've ever said that, but I'm going to tell you why. It's not a facsimile, but it does reprint the four books that started the Marvel superhero uh, push, really. Um, it's going to reprint uh, Fantastic Four number one, Amazing Fantasy 15, first appearance of Spider-Man, X-Men number one, and Avengers number one. Um, I mean... That is power packed at two bucks an issue, basically, because you're getting the book for eight bucks with our 20% discount. So it's less than that. So for less than two bucks an issue, you can read the first four. Uh, well, four very early superhero Marvel issues. So there you go. I think that's a good value. Um, you got a Bradshaw A, a Momoko B. Uh, this one looks a lot like that one she did for the Gwen Stacy book. I didn't like that much. Um, Chrissy Zulo again. You got your classic team there, uh, as cats, kind of fun. On to Frank Miller presents Ancient Enemies. Frank Miller has um, started a publishing company and they're printing a lot of his stuff. This is a uh, book he's putting out. Um, I think he's doing the writing. Uh, you got Dan Didio involved. Earth, Didio's doing the writing. Oh, sorry. Didio's doing the writing. It's a Frank Miller is, I guess, just the head of the company. Earth becomes the final battlefield for a centuries-old war between two alien races, but this final conflict becomes the unintentional breeding ground for a new generation of superheroes, each with the ability to influence the outcome of the war. Um, so there you go. Could be uh, uh, could be interesting. Uh, looks like you got a hero in the back with maybe like some south asian influence um so yeah that, that it could be cool it's a six issue mini series let's definitely check that out first borns now this is from the artist writer team that did heavy metal drummer which i think was a behemoth book last year um this kid wakes up middle of a nightmare uh, he sees his classmate burned to death in front of his eyes um, right after coming into contact with an ancient with an alien artifact. So there you go, kind of a alien or for, for, uh, foretelling the future kind of deal. Yeah, premonition yeah. sort of stuff. Got a couple covers there, Luca Vassilo. All of them are look of that sort. Of okay, and they have that very indie uh, web comic look to me. Um, I kind of dig that one. Dawn Attack. So this is Opus Comics again, who's been putting out. Uh, they've been putting out some interesting stuff. You, most of their stuff is uh, based off of musicians or bands, other than the Frazetta stuff, or they've also been doing Bid, Bill and Ted stuff. Oddly mm -hmm. enough. Um, this is uh, Frank Frazetta, uh, some sci-fi stuff from way back, um, Dawn Attack, and you get a great A cover and a Frazetta B cover. So there you go, five-issue miniseries. Uh, they're also doing Death Dealer currently. Um, just some great yeah, stuff. Yeah, you got to remember, they're doing Bill and Ted because they're rock gods. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that's for I forgot about that. But I mean they but they are. They're doing yeah. stuff with some metal bands and not my thing, but uh like C Cradle of Filth and um Evanescence and then they did one was uh written by Joe Satriani. Um <coughs> they've been doing some stuff. They're definitely uh got got an interesting angle. So and they're good looking books, nicely produced books, uh high paper quality, all that. Um, I know I, I could nerd out on high paper quality and talk about it for a while. Y'all don't want me to do that. Though. Um, or if you do, leave a comment and I'll do a whole video about paper quality. Um, Ronan book two. This is another Frank Miller. Uh, Frank Miller's Ronan was a big hit back in the day when it came out. This is book two. So he's continuing it as a six issue miniseries. This is Frank Miller writing. Um, so there you go. Continuation. Uh, Source Point Press, you got Mysterium number one. This one sounded kind of cool, kind of fun, lighthearted. 
uh, we dare walk through the gates of Mysterium Manor. Uh, basically, this guy keeps encountering um, paranormal, supernatural stuff and is trying to figure it out. So definitely check that out. Three issues, short and sweet miniseries. Uh, Red Winter Fallout. This is a continuation of an earlier one. This is a kind of a Russian uh, deep state espionage kind of crime comic. Um, Four-part series. Sounds pretty cool. It is a continuation of an old one. Um, so, yeah, if uh, you like that kind of stuff, um, there you go. Dark Crisis, the Dark Army one-shots, continuation of the Dark Crisis series going on currently. Uh, one cover on that one. Or two covers, sorry. Um... The main reason we're doing it is the Taj Tenfold. New artists, we're not familiar with them, but we both like this cover. It's got kind of, not it's not negative space, but it's got that feel. I think I said monochromatic. It's got a very... Almost a little Nakayama to it. It does kind of look like David Nakayama. Um, it's just a good, crisp, clean-looking cover, too, though. It's just sharp, you know. So there you go. Uh, DC versus Vamps, uh, number 11. Gillian March A cover. Yeah, it's all right. I like the Nathan Zerdy cardstock uh, Harley Quinn cover there. You sort of need that to go with the, the, the Supergirl that, that just, just came, came out. out, come out tomorrow. And they look very similar, actually. <laughs> um, Punchline Gotham Game number two, uh, continuation of the Punchline number one that came out last, uh, this week, comes out tomorrow. So there you go, another Glib Melenkov cover. Uh, Derek Chu cardstock variant, very sharp cover. Uh, Soza Mica also. Waller versus Wildstorm, number one of four. Now, this one sounds pretty cool. This is a throwback uh, to the early 80s in the Cold War. Um, and it basically reads as if. It's a young Waller kind of putting together a early rendition of what later becomes Suicide Squad kind of thing is kind of how I read it. It sort of tells the story about how she became who she is. Right. Yeah. It gives you a little background. Get all the power and stuff from her. So um, obviously you got Deathstroke in there. A um, few other good characters. Jackson King, the Armored Battalion, uh, former leader of Stormwatch. Um, check the agency checkmates involved. Uh, it's always interesting. Uh, you got a B cover by Eric Battle. A Jim Lee. Oh, sorry. This is on to the next book. Wildstorm 30th anniversary. Uh, they're doing a lot of Wildstorm Wildcat stuff right now. You got a Jim Lee A. Great Joshua Middleton Zealot cover B. And a Libra Mayho C. And that's it for us tonight, guys. We were trying something, trying to do a shorter video. Um, we have, we're have we playing with the idea of possibly switching FOC into three videos, DC, Marvel, and uh, Indies, um, to give you guys a shorter viewing experience, like maybe eight to ten minutes. Let us know what you think of the shorter format in the comments. We appreciate you guys as always, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks.